Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hold up, baby. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. It Chapter Two uh, hits Blu-ray, 4K, and all those uh, other formats today. Uh, I believe there's different retail exclusive uh, editions of this. I think there may be a steel book out there. Not a hundred percent sure, but I think there probably is that. And uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Quentin Tarantino's ninth film uh, is coming out today on you know Blu-ray, 4K, and DVD and stuff. Those are some of the big titles that are being released today. But there is one thing. One Blu-ray that is coming out today that I'm dying to get my hands on. And I'm sure not a lot of people are talking about this title because, you know, it's all about It Chapter 2 and, you know, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood when it comes to the stuff that comes out today. But you know me, I'm into, I'm into some really bad movies. And there's a really bad movie that's so bad it's so amazing, and you know, kind of movie that, that comes out today. And I'm going to see if I can try to find that one out there uh, in the stores. It's directed by Fred Durst. And starring John Travolta. So if you guys you guys may already know what I'm talking about because you're gonna have to wait and see if I can find it out there in stores today. But uh, also before I head on out, uh, I am gonna have some DVD and Blu-ray reviews uh, at the end of this video, just a couple, uh, not a whole lot. But uh, if you guys haven't seen it yet, uh, my last video I posted, I went out out and about with my friend Aaron in Hollywood, and we went to go explore the the Hollywood Movie Museum, and they have this a cool exhibit for Back to the Future for the Back to the Future trilogy there. I also went down into the depths of uh, you know the Hollywood Museum where they have all this cool horror horror movie memorabilia and like Silence of the Lambs stuff and Friday the Thirteenth stuff. It's like it was really super cool. And also, man, then my next video. My next video I'm going to be posting on this YouTube channel, uh, I, got a, I got a little, you know, casual interview with uh, Martin Cove, Sensei Kreese from the Karate Kid franchise. So we expect that video coming up in the next day or two on this YouTube channel. If you guys love the Karate Kid or Cobra Kai, you'll dig this video. But uh, yeah, guys, let's head on out now. I'm done rambling. I'm done rambling, man. It's time to go hoarding. Well, guys, at my first stop of the day, Best Buy, baby. The Beast. Let's head on in there, see what kind of cool stuff came out today. Well, guys, in Best Buy right now, take a look at some of the new releases that they have. Of course, you know, It Chapter 2 uh, came out today. Uh, they also have, like, that Best Buy exclusive steel book. They have that one left of uh, their Best Buy exclusive steel book right here with Pennywise and those balloons and everything. I believe there's, like, a two-film collection. Oh, yeah, it is right here. But, yeah, if you want to get both the It movies, the both the It Chapter 1 and 2, you can get them both on 4K right here, man. 40 bucks, though. Uh, I thought this movie was pretty decent. Definitely not as cool or as rewatchable as the first first chapter uh, in this in this little series here, at least in my opinion. But, of course, uh, the other one that came out today was uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, uh, Quentin Tarantino's ninth film. And this also has its own standard, uh, you know, uh, 4K release uh, of it right here. And uh, if you guys didn't see it yet, I did unboxing videos of uh, most of the exclusive editions that came out uh, that were sent to me by Sony. If you guys haven't seen that video, uh, I'll ha hopefully have a link for it in the description. If not, go to my channel. You'll check it out. I have like I, They sent me like five editions, which I did, I did unboxings for and things like that. One of them came with a record and things. Another movie that came out right here starring Clifton Collins Jr. and Chris McGlover called Lucky Day. Uh, I got a review copy of this in, uh, recently, but I still haven't got a chance to see it yet. And a movie called Freaks. Uh, they just, uh, what's it called? They look just like us. Freaks, as the little tagline says right there. This is coming out from Wellgo USA. It looks like it stars Emil Hirsch. That looks like it, it could be kind of decent. Boom, 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 boom. They have it. They have it in stock. The Phantasm Sphere. It's $100 or $99 right here. And they only have, I believe, one copy in this store, maybe two. Uh, I already have, like, a, you know, two different editions of this already. You know, in the, in the Sphere set, like the old DVD, uh, multi-region uh, DVD set. And the Arrow Video set that came out recently. I believe this one's coming out from uh, Wellgo USA and everything. Of course, you get the Tall Man, Reggie Bannister and stuff. And even today, they're having, like, a signing... Uh, for, for this or at Dark Delicacies today. Uh, sad to say I'm not going to be, you know, making it on down there. Oh, this box is all crunched up on the side. But that's cool, man. If you guys are a fan of the uh, Phantasm movies, the new Sphere set came out today. Getting out of Best Buy right now. They have some cool stuff in there, like that Phantasm Sphere. 
It's pretty cool, but like I don't need three of them in my collection. Well, I'm in the Hobby Lobby right now. It's right next to the Best Buy that I go to. Uh, trying to get something framed uh, that I've had for a little while now. That I just want to get, you know, get framed and you know, make it look proper uh, in my room because I have something here that's really cool and, you know, might as well get this shit framed. But yeah, one of the things I want to get framed right here that I had for a while is my cast signed uh, poster here from uh, Salute Your Shorts with my friend, you know, Michael Ray Bauer and, you know, uh, Danny Cooksey and like some of the other cast members, you know, that were a part of this little reunion, uh, you know, that I was at. Well guys, I got it all framed up right now. Of course I got like the other two, which I'll show you guys what they are, you know, which other ones I got, you know, framed up that I'm going to be putting up in my room uh, in a little while at the end of this video but for six six bucks not not too bad not too bad for a frame well at my next stop of the day Target, baby let's head on in there all right everyone over here at the target uh, movie section here seeing if they have anything cool or new of course they have the it chapter 2 uh, you know 4k's blu-rays and everything like that even the standard you know DVD uh, up in this piece they still have ready or not up front some movie called Badland uh, I never heard of this one really it stars Trace Atkins and Mira Sorvino uh, up in here of course they have you know once upon a time in Hollywood and then of course they have their target exclusive edition which I showed off in my video that comes with like a cool little um you know like a little mini magazine uh, in there uh, for, for you guys that want to know about that one but I still I'm still not coming across that one movie I'm trying to find that that came out today but of course hustlers is uh, one of the flicks that came out today that was actually a really fun a uh, really well put together flick, man. Drama, you know, about these, you know, strippers trying to, you know, a little make 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 a little extra cash. And uh, I don't know, man. J Lo and Constance Wu did a really good job uh, in that one right there. If you guys have never seen it, I highly recommend checking it out. Well, shit. They didn't have the John Travolta movie uh, I'm looking for right now. So hopefully the next location I go to has it. All right, guys. At my last stop of the day. Wally World, baby. All right, guys, before I head into Walmart, I have some news for you guys. My, uh, the movie I'm in called An Hour to Kill uh, is coming out on DVD uh, through this company called Alpha Video. I'm going to have a link for it in the description box of this video uh, where you guys can, you know, pick it up and stuff. It's actually a double feature DVD where you get a movie called Dead Kansas, which, a, which is a, my friend Aaron's very first feature film that he made that has, like, Erwin, Erwin Keys in it and stuff. And an hour to kill a double feature DVD set uh, that's out now from Alpha Video. I believe they're like ten or fifteen dollars a piece, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have a link for it uh, in the description box of this video if you guys want to support us when it comes to our filmmaking adventures and things like that. Because of course, me, Gabriel, Luna, Frankie, and stuff are all in an hour to kill. But it has like a like a really cool wacky kind of horror-ish cover, you know, on this new one right now. I think it's kind of cool. So if you guys want to support us, check it out. Link down below. Let's head into Walmart. All right, guys, in Walmart right now, and I'm only really looking for one particular title because all the other stuff that's on the new release rack over there, I already showed at the other stores. I'm just trying to see if I can find, you know, the one thing I'm looking for. Of course, the Cotton Club came out, that Badlands, and everything like that. That Buttons movie was last week, and everything. The Curse of uh, the Buckout Road. Buckout Road. I don't know. And some new Dolph Lundgren movie, Hard, Hard Night Falling. Man, he, he puts out a lot of flicks, man. Dolph Lundgren's, a, Dolph Lundgren's a cool cat, man. Been a fan of his since, since Rocky IV. But, oh, 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 they have it. They have it, man, the Fanatic. But it looks, it's supposed to have, like, a Blu-ray. It's out over here. I may have to ask an employee if they have any other Blu-rays somewhere else. But, dude, hell, yes, bro. This is, the, this is my mission. And I almost accomplished it. Got to find the Blu-ray, though. Well, guys, I'd ask an employee if they had another copy of uh, the Fanatic on Blu-ray. And he happened to have one in the back, or not in the back, but like, you know, behind the counter uh, right there. Were they saving it for someone? I don't know, but I'm getting this thing. $12.99, can't pass it up. But guys, let's head on home now, and I'll show you guys the other things I got today, or, you know, framed. All right, guys, I'm back home now from hoarding up. About to show you guys the goods that I got. And of course, I picked up the Fanatic from Walmart. All I had was, uh, you know, one copy left. Uh, over there blu-ray wise that a handful of DVD ones But I had to get my hands up on this one because it was the very first movie I ever rented at a red box and that was like a month or two ago and stuff I'm like I just have to see it and when I rented it this was amazing and I'm glad it's getting a you know a release like this where people can you know go out there go out there and buy it and things but I also got a couple of things framed uh, today uh, one of which being my uh, Jay and Silent Bob uh, you know uh, reboot poster that I got 
when I went to that ex ex exclusive screening of it, uh, you know, when, when Kevin Smith was there, when I had like a little interview with him and stuff, put that one next to my bed. I also got my Salute Your Shorts, you know, uh, reunion poster signed. This one's, this is not the same reunion I was at, but like, I got this one signed when I was at the Good Burger pop-up shop with my friend Michael Ray Bauer. So I had to get that framed up there. But the big one I got, <laughs> I put over here. The Out and About the Movie 2 poster, baby. You know what I mean? So that's what I did when I went to uh, the Hobby Lobby is just get some of those ones. Well, that's everything I, you know, did when I was out there today. Bought the Fanatic. I was a little bit fanatical about trying to find that one out there in stores. That and getting those picture frames, you know, getting those things framed up. But now I have a couple of DVDs and Blu-rays to talk to you guys about today here. Uh, the first two up right here I got from Arrow Video US. And that is the RoboCop. Uh, this is like that uber duber, you know, collector's edition that they just came out with. And uh, it comes with two discs, the theatrical cut and the director's cut on here. Uh, it also comes with like a, re you know, really cool, you know, you know, hard packaging with a bunch of, you know, cool special features in here. Uh, I'm not really going to get into the film that much, but, you know, it's about a cop. You know, who, who, who's, a, who's a, you know, a typical good cop until like these bad guys, you know, take him out and kill him. And, uh, you know, there's this company that's like, you know... M you know, messing around with the robot semi-technology, and they turn him, you know, his corpse into a, you know, <laughs> into a robot, and he's going, you know, t turning him to Robocop, and he's going around, you know, taking out bad guys for the police, until he's all of a sudden goes, wait a minute, I have, I have a memory here, I was this guy, you know what I mean, like, you know, it's one, it's one of those things, man, I always loved the first, the first three, and after the third one, I didn't care anymore, I can't lie, but this one right here, it comes with like a, a, a really thick booklet, uh, on the, you know, this making of the film and everything on here with some really cool, like, images, uh, you know, from the film. If you're a fan, man, you definitely gotta check this out. It also comes with, like, a little mini poster, uh, in this bad boy right here. I've, I've always kind of really liked Robocop, man. Like, you know, ever since I was, like, a, a youngster, uh, he also has, it's also a two-sided one. It has, like, the new artwork on here, too. Like, uh, it's just, it's just super cool that they, you know, did that. And even, I believe, it's, I forgot what company it was that put out part two and three, uh, on, uh, on Blu-ray 2. So, so cool. Two discs, a bunch of special features, you know, interviews, behind-the-scenes footage, all that, you know, uh, good jazz on here. Even a director's, uh, I believe a director's commentary in here by uh, Paul Verhoeven. So, so cool. I uh, recommend that release highly if you guys, you know, see it out there. And next up is from Aero Video US also, uh, is Flowers in the Attic. Uh, this is that um, a film that's been remade a handful of times throughout the years, and this is the one that stars uh, Christy Swanson, and it's about this um, uh, this this young family uh, who just you know lost uh, lost their father, and uh, the mother of the family is just trying to figure out what to do because she you know she's she's starting to, she's kind of struggling. She has you know three kids, and she's just like, what am I gonna do? But I I have a rich father. A very rich father that kind of like disowned me years back, but I, I want to see if I can win him over because I know he's on his deathbed now. Let's see if I can win him, win his love again. And uh, she and her fa her kids, you know, go visit her, uh, you know, her dying her her dying father, and uh, just to come to find out that uh, the kids get locked up in the attic, and it's, you know, for like I don't know, a couple years or months or whatever it was, and it just shows them and how they're up there and why they're up there. And what kind of creepy stuff is happening uh, in this old rich people house? You know what I mean? It's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of a messed up story, man. It's kind of really kind of really jacked up. But you, of course, you get you know Christy Swanson in there, beautiful as ever. Uh, you get a handful of special features like an alternate ending uh, on here, was you know, which is a, a lot different than the uh, uh, theatrical ending that we got on the you know the Blu-ray here. But it's like in like weird VHS quality where you see like you know the the you know, like the VHS quality, like the, the, the rolling of the film and stuff like that. Uh, but you do get a new high-definition transfer uh, of the movie here, a new audio commentary track by the author, and uh, a, couple, a couple of little behind-the-scenes special featurettes and, you know, you know, interviews and things like that. But if you're a fan of Flowers in the Attic, this is a, a really great release here uh, uh, through Arrow Video uh, right there. So if you're a fan, definitely uh, check it out. And the last two up over here I got from Lionsgate Home Entertainment. Uh, the first one up right here I just had to get because I absolutely adore uh, the two actors that are in here. And that is, that is a movie called uh, Buttons, A Christmas Tale, uh, starring Dick Van Dyke and Angela Lansbury. And uh, in this film, Angela Lansbury and Dick Van Dyke play these guardian angel angels 
to these two orphan girls and just, you know, guiding them, you know, guiding, guiding them along life and just, you know, coming into their lives when they need them the most. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a really, you know, whimsical, you know, uh, you know, children's film. Uh, it, it was, you know, you get Dick Van Dyke in there dancing and, you know, doing his thing, even though he's like, you know, in his like, what, late 80s, early 90s. And of course, you get, you know, Angela Lansbury in there, like telling stories. And, and I, I, I kind of liked it, but at the same time, it wasn't executed very well. You know what I mean? Like it felt like, um, like the the budget, like the budget just wasn't there. They had the acting power there, but it just seemed like some of the audio was really off. The editing was kind of like wonky. Like every, every some, some something about this film didn't seem, you know, like I don't know, as professional as it could have been with the actors that they had involved here. You know what I mean? There was even some parts where Dick Van Dyke is in there, and you can barely hear what he's saying. Yet, there, yet there's not even like a big loud stuff going on. It's just like him sitting there talking to somebody, and you can barely hear what he's saying. Like the person that was doing like the boom mic wasn't like on point or something in some some scenes. You know, some parts of this movie. I don't know. It just it, it was good, but it just seemed like it could have been executed a lot better, uh, in my opinion here. But that's Buttons, A Christmas Tale, and it's also what narrated by um, Kate Winslet and Robert Redford. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It was okay, not not a complete waste of time, but you know it could have been a lot better, you know, with the actors that they had in there. But last up over here, I got from Lionsgate also, and it was kind of surprising to me because uh, the the original one that came out a handful of years ago, I didn't like. I thought it was I, I thought it was stupid. I thought it was you know boring. It was kind of like trying to you know jump on that bandwagon of all that you know found footage movies that were like. You know, coming out at the time, like Paranormal Activity and stuff, which I kind of like the Paranormal Activity ones. But uh, this is The Gallows, Act 2. Uh, this is the, you know, Blu-ray release from Lionsgate right here. And uh, this one doesn't really uh, have anything to do with the first one exactly, but it does still involve the Charlie Charlie challenge. And uh, it follows this young girl named, uh, what was her name in here? Uh, Anna Rue. And uh, she's an aspiring actress and wants to, you know, Wants to be wants to be a famous actor ever since she was a little girl, and uh, at the same time she wants to be famous on YouTube or online. She wants to she wants to, you know she has this little YouTube channel, little show that she does. She has like two or three hundred subscribers, and she you know she wants to be big on there. And uh, you know as she's doing she's doing this she she comes across this these Charlie Charlie you know uh, videos, and she's just like wow they're getting a lot of views. You know, what do I, what do I have to do to do the, you know, to get views like this? And she gets like a mysterious message from like a subscriber of her saying, hey, check out, you know, the gallows. And then she goes to her local, you know, library or school library, looks up the gallows. She starts reading the book and videotaping it and stuff like that. And then she starts gaining subscribers and like all these followers and stuff online. She's even doing, you know, doing like, you know, her play stuff at school. And then it, it, then it, it just all goes haywire for her. And uh, it's actually, I kind of like this one. I don't know if it's like, it's not the best movie on the planet, but I think I liked it a lot more than the first one. Because the the main girl of this flick, the the I forgot her what was her real name in here? I forgot I forgot the the the, the lady's name uh, that played the main actress, like Emma Horvath or something like that. She was absolutely good. I mean, I mean, she was like electrifying on screen. I think I have a little crush on her. I'm not gonna lie, like she was just absolutely beautiful. But like she kind of reminds me of like a like 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 Lacey Cutbirth from like um you know the Party of Five a little bit. Uh, but she actually was actually really good in this. And uh, the scares are pretty decent. It's not. It's not like you know the be-all, end-all horror movie or but, or anything like that. But if you have like you know, because I went into this real, real low expectations because I didn't give a shit about the first one. But I think this one is a lot better than that one. You know what I mean? Like I really did enjoy this one. I hate the first one, but kind of love this one. And it comes with like a 35 making of, 35 minute making of special feature on here. I recommend checking it out if you guys are into horror movies. And it's not found footage. There's a couple of moments that are, but it's mostly shot like a movie movie. You know what I mean? It's not a found footage flick. So definitely give this one a chance if you see that out there. But that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today for this hoarding up video. Give this video a thumbs up. You know, drop a comment down below saying, um, snooch to the nooch or like a Jay and Silent Bob reference in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys all next time.